Okay, bit of an update, I suppose. It's been quite a while. Now, to be honest with you, the weather hasn't been too great. It's been uh, minus figures for the last few days, and before that, we've just had constant rain, so I haven't been in the mood for doing anything. Um, so, what have we got planned? Um, I'll turn this light off. There we go. So, I've got a few bits in back here. Uh, mud flaps. I'm going to be modifying these because we're running the negative offset wheels and all the shit so I keep spraying up through this gap here and up the doors so I've got some uh, defender mud flaps which are obviously a lot bigger so I've replaced these and also the ones at the back so they'll come out sort of out here if you like um, so that's them. We've got, well, we've bought an air compressor so we can inflate and deflate the tyres. I'm going to think about mounting that <coughs> where the old compressor used to be, which is that way. Oh, there. So I'm going to try and look for a uh, second hand compressor box I don't want the compressor, I just want the box and I'll house it under there so I can get to it might even run a 12 volt line underneath so obviously that's for the tyres uh, I've also got a bit of a leak going on under here uh, now I've had a look and it seems to be coming from the uh, fuel cooler I won't bother popping bonnet but it'll be in an upcoming video I'm um, still getting wet carpets so I'm going to find some uh, fishing tube or something or fuel line tube to put inside here to bulk these seals up I know Derek over at Sleepy Cat Pitches he's got similar sort of issues so I think he's just getting drafts in his. But you can see all the moisture there, I think that's just condensation, but I don't know, it feels wet to me. But yeah. What we can do to I mean this is an aftermarket seal, it's not an a, a Land Rover one, so that might not help. So that's that. Uh, what have we got in the back? Nothing much. Oh yes, we have got, um, I did buy one of those truck storage boxes. I can't we call them. Is it Bauer? Something like that? Yeah. Obviously we're going to put my compressor in there, but it's a bit too big. Get it out of the box, that is. Yeah, it's uh, far too big to go underneath Disco. I'm gonna have to get a, um, a Discovery 2 run and stick it in there. I mean, I could have it in a box up there, but if you want quick access to it, it's a pain in the ass. So what I might do with that box is I've got a bit of a spare space here in the back of the trailer so I might cut a hole in the trailer there and put that box in there because there's a big space there, it's not doing anything so it'll have to come out to about there and I'll just box it in and then move that here just a bit further up um, inside the trailer and um, I've done really that much to it to be honest with you um, the mattresses I've made those a bit thicker other than that it's all roughly about the same to be honest with you in here could do with another solar panel on the top though because uh, running that 80 watt heater it does uh, sap the power a bit so 
and there is space. There is space for another solar panel just there, but I might have to move that that box maybe, I don't know. Let's have a quick look. I would say there would be enough room for another one, another 100 watt panel. Um, I've also had issues with these. Well, I've took this one off, but these lights here. The one on this side just stopped working completely altogether, like it's burnt out or something. <coughs> uh, this one here, all this filled up with water, which is why it's all black there. So I've been and bought some slightly better ones, I think, on eBay this time instead of Amazon. But look, you can see they're all, everything's just rusting. Um, and I've had to bodge it there with some silicon, stop the water going down the uh, wiring. But these back two seem to be okay. I took the end caps off and I resealed everything with some uh, Tiger Seal all the way around, so they're all sealed in now. So those seem to be okay. Uh, get a bit green up there, that could do with a wash. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, to be honest with you. <coughs> it's, the weather's supposed to warm up a bit in the next few days, but we're in for a bit more rain, so we'll have to see how it goes with that. But I think first job for now is get that um, fuel cooler seals done. Uh, in fact, one of them last one yet. So it's basically that there. The uh, seals on the uh, end caps are gone. So it's not that hard of a job to be honest with you. And the parts are only like 15, 20 quid. So it's not as if it's been uh, going every week. I mean, I've had this car, what, four or five years now. That's the first time that's happened than that. So. Um, yeah, look at these, these are all starting to rust as well. Yeah, cheap lights for you, I suppose. You get what you pay for. But yeah, it's still a bit of an update for New Year and that. And uh, that's about where I'm up to. Uh, I'm also thinking about changing this front bumper as well. There's nothing wrong with it, really. Um, it's just looking a bit tired and also a winch bumper would be nice So we'll be taking this off and uh, looking for another one So other than that uh, We'll play catch you in another video in the next probably week or so maybe So we'll see you again soon. Bye